song to be Bubbles. What is up guys and welcome to another video. Now before we hit the computer and start coding, hit that subscribe button down below, leave a like if you're enjoying the content, and drop a comment, let me know what you wanna see coded up next. The day has finally arrived. It's finally here. TikTok has released a sandbox for developers. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? This is gonna make developing and testing so much easier. So in this video, we're gonna be going over the sandbox in the developer portal on TikTok. We're gonna set up an app, create the sandbox for that app, go over the app details, how to add products like login kit content posting API, how to add the correct scopes so you can use those products, and then how to add a user so you're all set up for testing the endpoints. As always, links will be in the description below to things like GitHub. We got the new Printify merch shop, Bubbles Merch. Support the channel there. I set up a new Discord server. Join the server, join the community, and keep a lookout for the Twitch live streams. I'm planning on starting a regular weekly stream. I'm thinking Saturday morning, and I'm hoping to get that started sometime this month. And with that, it's time to hit the computer. Welcome to the TikTok API Sandbox Overview. Yes, you did hear that right. They have finally released a sandbox. Our lives as developers have gotten just a little bit easier. We don't have to go through the tedious review process and get a live app approved just to test a single endpoint. Now with the sandbox, we have access to all the endpoints and we can test them right away. Now to get started, we're gonna head over to developers.tiktok.com. You're gonna need to make sure you have an account here. If you don't, just go ahead and sign up and then log in. Once you're logged in, click the developer portal over here and you can click manage apps we see all of our current apps. For this video, I'm gonna create a new app just so we can see how it works from scratch. But if you have a current app, you can head into any current app. Now there's a production and a sandbox toggle. If you just click on the sandbox, it'll toggle you over to the sandbox and it will say, welcome to sandbox mode, where you can create a sandbox for your current app. For this video, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click connect an app. So we're gonna do a, an individual app myself and we'll call this Bubbles Sandbox, confirm. And just like that, we have created our application. We have a production and a sandbox up here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to create a sandbox mode for this app. So we're gonna go ahead and create a sandbox for our Bubbles Sandbox app, and this is the real sandbox. So let's call this Bubbles Real Sandbox. There's an option here where you can clone from production or an existing sandbox. If you check this, you can clone from, and that will copy all the settings from that app into the sandbox that we're creating. I'm gonna leave that unchecked. We're from scratch and confirm. There we go. You are editing Bubbles Real Sandbox, a sandbox version of Bubble Sandbox. Make sense? Here we have our sandbox app details, our client key, our client secret, and toggle those there to get the actual values. Here under the basic information, we're gonna update a few things. We're gonna add an app icon. There's our Bubbles profile picture, Bubble Sandbox, category, select the category that your app fits under. Bubbles will be under education. A description. And the terms of service and privacy policy are required. But you know, as long as they're filled in, it doesn't really matter. It's a sandbox. They don't have to be valid, I don't think. But I'm just going to put it in my website there. I'm going to check the platform for web. Uh, and I'm going to use my localhost blog code TikTok API URL, since that is where I've been doing a lot of my testing. But that also needs to be filled in. And then we're going to click Apply Changes. And everything has been saved. That's the basic information section. Now let's move on to the good stuff here, right? So we got the product section, where we can add any product we want to the sandbox. This way we don't have to go through that tedious back and forth process with TikTok trying to get the app approved and live in production just to test one of these products. Let's go ahead and let's add the login kit. Login kit's been added. Click done and you can see that our login kit here is now showing up under products. You can go check out the video for this I made but basically user will come to your website or my Bubbles login app. You click continue with TikTok. The user will be taken to TikTok and then the user will log in with their TikTok account on TikTok and then TikTok will kick the user back to your redirectory that you place in here. And for us, our redirectory is login.php. So I'm going to place that right in there. This is where TikTok sends the user with other query parameters on here, which you can then exchange. You use the code from TikTok to exchange for an access token, you get the access token. And then you have the user access token, which you can then use to make a request on behalf of that user to their endpoints, such as the content posting API. So we're going to apply the changes there to our login kit. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to add another product, the content posting API. Added and click done. What do we need for the content posting API? Here we have a direct post. Directly post content to authorized users' profiles. Sounds like something we want to do if we're making posts on the user's behalf. Check that. Verify domains. So video content here can be posted in two ways. Push by file means that you're going to have the file on your server and you're going to send that up to TikTok in chunks until that file is fully uploaded. Otherwise, you can do pull by URL, which you're just specifying the actual URL to the MP4 video that you want TikTok to pull from. Keep in mind that does have to be publicly accessible so TikTok has access to that URL. To enable pull by URL, you have to verify your domains. 
So what this means is the pull by URL, you're going to verify that you own that domain or you somehow have access to that domain. Let's take an example here. I have um, bubblesbath.mp4 here. There's bubbles swimming around. So I have to verify that I own this domain here, justinstolpe.com. Now to verify it, we're going to click on this verify button and we're going to verify the properties. You have two ways of verifying. You can either add a DNS record or you can do a URL prefix. First method is the domain method, justinstolpe.com verify. So here I have to copy the text below and save the DNS text record for justinstolpe.com. I have to log into uh, the hosting provider, add this as a DNS text record, and then click the verify button and it will try to ping the DNS to see that I've added this. In your cPanel, find, find the DNS records, just find a way to add a record. Like over here, add a record. When you add a record, you just type in the domain here, make sure it's type text, and then you copy the string you copied from TikTok and paste it right in here. Click save. DNS has been updated just as TikTok has requested. Then you can go ahead and you can click verify. Our domain has been verified. TikTok went out to check our DNS. They saw that we had that string on our server and so they were able to verify our domain. Now the other way to verify a domain is by a URL prefix. So what we do here is we're going to take our justinsulpy.com slash sandbox folder. That's where the bubbles mp4 is going to live. I'm going to paste that path right here and then we're going to click verify. Now what I need to do is I need to download this file and I need to upload it to that folder. That way TikTok will go out to that folder, check to make sure that I have been able to upload the file to that folder, and then they'll know that that path has been verified. Once your file is uploaded to that folder, click verify. It should find it and it'll tell you that your property has been verified. That's how you verify with either DNS or the URL prefix. Now that our domains have been verified, we can use the pull by URL method when uh, posting content through the content posting API. And those are the only two products I'm going to go through right now. I will come back later and make videos on the other products here, the share kit, webhooks, and the data API as well. Next, we come to the scopes section. We have our user info basic, which is included in the login kit. And then for the content posting API, we need to have video publish and video upload. And if we want to add on extra scopes, which we do, we want to add on a few things here. We want some more user info. So we're going to request the user info profile, their little profile picture, the profile link, their description. You can see if they're verified. We're going to go ahead and add that one. User info stats. This will allow us to see the user's uh, likes count, follower following, and video count. Going to add that as well. And then video list. We want to be able to read the user's video list to see what videos they have. Going to add that as well. And now we have all the scopes that we want and need for using the login kit and the content post hosting API. All right, the last thing down here is the target users. These are the users that are going to be allowed to use the sandbox and the users that we're going to be testing with. I'm going to go ahead and add an account here. You can use your actual TikTok account. Uh, I created a test account just so I'm not doing a lot of test posts to my main TikTok account, but I'm going to go ahead and log in here. It's going to think a little bit, then it should bring us to the pop-up where it asks us for authorization with our sandbox. TikTok for developers needs to verify your TikTok account. It's asking us if we want to authorize Bubble Sandbox. We're going to go ahead and we're going to click continue. Target user was successfully added. Navigating back to TikTok for developers. All right, so now in our sandbox, we see our TikTok user has been added where we are going to, in the future, such as the next video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to post a video to that user's TikTok with the content posting API. That is going to wrap up our overview of the sandbox. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Like I said, in the next video, we will be posting something with the content posting API, which is something I know you guys have all been waiting for, myself included. That's going to wrap the video up. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, drop a comment down below, and let me know what you want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.